So that first part was the old way and this is the new way. We're coming into Delta, Utah. I think it was settled in 1907. I, I couldn't get the last part of that. Uh, 190. I got that much. Anyway, the sunset looked too cool with the mountains in the background. So I had to get her done. We'll go through this town and get it out of our way. And hopefully we have enough time to still get a good backdrop. See you in a bit. Yeah, so we missed the best part of the sunset. Well, we got we got good parts of it, but by the time we got through town, we'd gone down too far. Anyway, see you in the morning. Good morning. Welcome to Ely, Nevada again. A beautiful day out here today in the hood. 65 balmy degrees. We got here last night, took our time this morning. Had to clear out, change the water in my windshield, suicidal insect cleaning apparatus out of my bucket. Had to dump it, refill it with fresh, clean water. Got about four gallons in there now. I think I, last time I had like three and a half. It wasn't bad. Um... For as long as I had it there, I got down to probably about a gallon and a half left. So I lost two gallons in the process. That's with with cleaning. So the lid works pretty good. So there's this place over there on uh, I-15 southbound in Utah that it's at the Pilot Flying J truck stop, mile marker 112, Beaver, Utah. They're the ones that sell those signs, I love Beaver, or I heart Beaver. Um, used to be a place, I think it was called Roberto's. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. And now it's called Valerie's. But the quality is the same. Well, the food is just phenomenal. These guys must live here. We're doing 24 and they're zipping through town. So anyway, uh, They opened up a Roberto's over here in, or Roberto's, whatever, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, in Ely, Nevada. So I just ordered me a sausage burrito. They had all the same stuff that Valerie's has, and the other place used to be pretty good. I mean. When you eat a burrito, like that, a breakfast burrito, and 10 minutes after you ate it, 
You're like, damn, that was a good burrito. Then you know that was a good burrito. I hate it. Sometimes I I buy these gas station burritos and they're just, they look like they're homemade. This is the way they're wrapped. <laughs> they tell you what, they taste like crap. Downtown Ely, Nevada. Highway 50 westbound. We're in the casino district right now. VIP Massage Spa, Big Four Ranch. I wonder if that's one of them uh, brothels. I never knew it was there until they painted the building red. <laughs> mm -hmm. Highway 50, the loneliest road in America. Pardon me, that coffee went down the wrong pipe a little bit. <coughs> About to change to a different cup of coffee. I'll run two or three boxes of a certain brand, the, the Keurig. find a new one. Maybe I'll have to go back to a couple old ones. Nope, we'll see you in a bit. Oh, I got a, um, this is the day after I posted that video. With the new mic. I got a lot of good responses for it. I think I'll keep it for a while. A few people didn't really notice much, but I suppose it all depends on your system. One guy did mention that the mic has a lot of sound dampening. You can't really hear the truck too much, so I cracked the windows a little bit. Let's see how this works out. It's evolution until we can get her down pat. The big gold mine over here to the left. So I'll see you in a bit. So I wasn't going to post for a little bit, but some, I just saw something that cracked me up. Just cruising along, getting ready to punch up my burrito, and I saw a sign that said, "Report sign shooters." It had a whole bunch of numbers, so basically, it was snitch on when you see people shooting at signs to snitch on them, and. That sign that said that was full of bullet holes. <laughs> a fairly new one too. So fairly new sign. So I thought that I'd just share that. <laughs> Report vandals shooting at road signs.
coming into Eureka. You can say this will be our Eureka moment. 67 degrees outside. Temperature 35, we gotta bring it down. I mean, speed limit, sorry about that. Another gold mining community. Yeah, there's some exhaust stacks on that tractor, huh? <laughs> Old Pete. And those things look like they were 12-inch diameter. Some real old buildings right here. We are running at 20 miles per hour right now, actually 22. Sped up a little bit. A little breezy out today. It's 68 degrees, so it's nice that it has the temperature's been dropping. 
I don't do the heat too well. You would think that I would, being from the mountains. Okay, we took a quick stop here in the middle of BFE. Middle of nowhere. Little rest area. I don't have this one marked in my map because there's no internet right here. Local boy. It's beautiful out here. Super quiet. I don't know what that means. Debut pseudo oyum 3XX NLT. I have no idea. Reading what somebody stuck on the stop sign there. Be a good place to spend the night though out here. This spot. But I do have better ones that have 4G internet. So I can at least watch YouTube and Netflix and upload videos if I can, if I have to. Area 51 is to the south, to the left. About 69 degrees. Seventy, sixty-nine, seventy. I was going to sleep out here last night, but I had another hour and 20 minutes I could have driven after Ely westbound. And I do have, like I said, I do have spots that I have triggered on Google Maps or marked on Google Maps where there's parking for a semi and um, has the internet. 
the reason I did that is because with the Obama clock, you have to maximize your hours. And since I was going to be early to Sacramento anyhow, I decided to shut down in um, Ely. But now I think about it, I should have done it just to look at the stars. Yeah, I got to look at where the moon is at. I would have done that. I would have looked and seen where the moon is so that it doesn't mess up the view. If you really want to see the Milky Way galaxy, it's got to be dark and clear. And then it's just like, boom, pops up at you. Perfect day to be cruising the loneliest highway in the world. Well, in the U.S. There's a lot more traffic than usual. I will say that. Salt Highway Sand looks like a little volcano. And they piled it up there like that. You can park around that in the summertime, but you don't want to do it in the winter. One time I actually parked in one of those just like a dirt lot, but it was up in the hills a bit and I had 4G and it was a pretty big area. And it, it was like one of them, the ones with that sand looking like a volcano that the highway department uses to spread snow or spread sand out on the highway. But I was in a lot like that, but it was really big and a helicopter landed in the same spot. It was like the guy shuttled to work. Drove his car there, parked it, there was a truck, hopped on a helicopter and boom, took off. It was from my, my filming days, that's when I was only just filming winter videos. I don't know, I wish I would have done it sooner, I suppose. I was never really thinking of doing it. So I had a few viewers ask me, how come I don't do more videos? And I'm like, I don't know. I just never thought about it. But at least we're doing them now, I reckon, huh? We actually do have internet out here right now and 4G. I ordered 5G on my phone because my phone will do 5G. And it's wicked fast. It's like... I downloaded a... a 20 minute video in like 
19 seconds. I was just testing that because I download videos sometimes in case I, spot, I park in an area where there is no 4G, then I can still watch some. <coughs> Then I realized sometimes I'm like, man, I downloaded these videos a long time ago and never, never looked at them, only because I always ended up parking where there's internet at night. You notice how these little flowers, weeds, I don't know what they are. They're, they're just right along the highway. They're not anywhere else. Look out there in the, the landscape, you, all you see is sagebrush. That's really weird. I never really noticed that before. It's just wherever man has disturbed the dirt. I know they didn't plant it. They might have planted it. I don't know. It's I never ever noticed it before until just now. If you look at the virgin dirt out there, it's all sagebrush who knows maybe they get out there with the sagebrush and the sagebrush kick them out how's that diversity for you huh the hieroglyphs or something like that if I remember correctly and the petroglyph wreck site it's right there to the right Hickison petroglyphs Yeah, see, somebody, I saw somebody put a bug deflector on the front of their tractor where it shoots the wind up. Keeps them so that it then blows the bugs away. It keeps them from hitting the windshield. And of course, of course, of course committing suicide.
take you to the Mexican Overdrive. We engage the brake, jig brake. Some of my videos you might notice that I um, you probably hear this clicking. That's my Jake brake. Like right now it's just completely off because we're in neutral. Getting the best fuel mileage you can get. 195 miles a gallon right now. Seventy-five mile per hour at six hundred RPM. Hmm. Now that would be some fuel savings. So there's still a little bit of snow up there on this ridge up in front of us. Um, we're gonna go over to the mountains there. I think to the far right. I, I don't think we go there at like the one o'clock position from where we're looking at right now, which is just straight over there. But I don't remember. Maybe it's farther at the two two thirty mark. I think that's where. Yeah, I think that's it over there. As we turn. As the truck turns, now it would be at the 1 o'clock. I think we go up right there. It's beautiful out here. A little hazy. Not too bad. One thing I've noticed, because I haven't been out west a whole lot this summer, but the fires that usually happen out in California, Oregon, and Washington pollute the rest of the uh, air that's west of the east of them. And I've always known every summer, you know see the smog from that those fires I was telling my son the other day he was all bummed out about the Amazon fires what are we doing hang on a second I, I don't know what this guy's going to do looks like he's stopping but he's not hitting his brakes anymore California plate boy and his woman driving. She's driving. There was no reason to hit her brakes like that. I don't know what she was doing. Maybe trying to force me into doing something. I don't know. Anyway, the kid's 19 years old. He's getting ready to go to the National Guard. He's all um, A little bit worried about, you know, pissed off about the rainforest in the Amazon and it burning and stuff. And, and I was telling him, yeah, I understand that was man made though. You know, it just didn't ignite by itself. It's man made. I'm trying to make farming land out of it. And I totally disagree with it, but um, we kind of got into the subject of air quality, and I go, you know that the volcanoes have been spewing ash, toxic fumes, chemicals, if you will, like sulfuric acid and all that happy crap. 
the volcano spews out and it's been doing it on this planet for billions of years that they've been the volcanoes have been spewing crap into the air and then you got fires which are part of the natural uh, occurrence which it's part of a healthy forest they're supposed to burn when you keep them from burning you create more problems and anyway and I go and, and then look how clear the air is after all that's been going on for, for billions of years the volcanoes spewing stuff into the atmosphere and You know, like with dust storms and stuff, of course dust storms settle back down, but my point being is the earth has a way to recycle that stuff and, and I used to joke around, I told them I go, when I was younger I used to joke around that the hole in the ozone was an exhaust pipe. <laughs> all the crap polluted air would be shot out into space. But it makes you wonder, I mean, how, maybe it's just the rain that forces it back down to the ground to clear the air. I don't know, but I'm not all on board with the global warming stuff because the planet has, the temperature has risen and lowered for billions of years. You've had heat waves and ice ages. It's because the planet is alive, I believe, and um, that's just its way of clearing the air, I guess. I don't know. I'm not into that. I'm not a scientist and don't study it. I mean, a long time ago, I in the early 80s, I said that aliens came down and manipulated with monkey DNA, and here we are. And as time goes on, that seems to be like more and more might be the case. I don't know. Be interesting to find out. If we don't find out when we're alive, well, by the time my kids might, maybe, but. Who knows? Maybe we don't find out until you die. This is another car, of course. It's a red pickup, but I looked in my mirror, I thought it might have been that same vehicle. But what the meaning of life in the universe is, I hope we find out when we die. Well, who knows? I told my kids, I go, you know, if you die and you don't, and nothing happens, you'll never know you were alive. So there's not a whole lot to worry about. But who knows what it is. I, I do hope we find out when we die. There's a lot of people who know exactly what happens, and I don't see how they can say that because they don't never experienced it. Nobody's ever experienced it. Some people have come close. But then they got all kinds of, oh, well, you, you're a medically induced coma. You're dreaming. I don't know. That's a tough subject. I don't really want to get into that, but who knows what actually happens. But I think it's pretty wicked how our bodies will heal our, heal themselves. And this planet it seems to do the same thing. This right here, that road right there to the left that we just passed, that will take us to the Love's truck stop there, just uh, north of Vegas on the 15th. And down there by Rachel, Nevada. There's a lot of farming going on in that valley over there to the left of us. Kind of forgot about it until we were right on top of it. 
anyway I will save a little bit more video until we get to the curves try not to panic too much we're light I hope it doesn't make you dizzy um, I like to drive them the way I do just because it I think it hones my skills down as a driver but anyway you'll see here in a minute then we'll go into Austin, Nevada. Okay, we are here at Austin Summit, 7484 elevation. So this is what I mean, I try to, we have a fairly light load. There's a bug calling across the highway, spider, a stink bug, it's like somebody messed up right there. There's a whole lot of them bugs. It breaks down a bit. There goes my bag of bottled water in the back. Of course, I don't know if you can hear it with these with this new mic. It's Austin down there. Love these switchbacks. They're fun to do in my caddy, but I have a tendency to overheat the transmission when I'm um, downshifting and high RPMing. It's just too fun to not do it. But I've always got a kick out of driving. Yes, we have a 53-foot trailer behind us. And the brakes here and there, but mostly is Jake brake. We have a light load. You wouldn't do this. There's some braking here. You wouldn't do it with a liquid load. And those stink bugs are just all over this highway. Beetles. I don't know exactly what they are. I know they're beetles. I don't know what kind. And I actually can't say that because I don't know 100% that they are beetles. I'm going to make an ass out of you and me and assume that. Bringing it down. Bringing the truck down down. One thing I like about these Volvo automatic transmissions is you can take the Jake brake and you have, what is it, five positions. You have one which is off and then you have one, two, three, so that's four positions. Three would be six cylinders, four would be, I mean, two would be four cylinders, and one, of course, would be two cylinders. Engine braking. But in the fifth position, it's just like 
you push down on it and it if you let go it pops right back up but what that does is it downshifts so you can downshift with that jake brake this is kind of neat i like that i didn't really like the the uh freight liner automatic jake would just kept downshifting boom 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 and if you just wanted to like right now i'm just chilling and it's just the trendy's just hanging there with me it's the jake is on full but it's just chilling with me it's not trying to downshift any further if i you get to a certain speed though like i'm pumping down oh there it goes see so it just dropped a gear we're just getting slow because we're coming into town here I know I've done this one before, but it is a vlog, so we're doing it again. Old church there to the left. There's a lot of old churches and buildings here. I wouldn't doubt it if it's also a speed epidemic, methamphetamine. These desert towns seem to have that all in common. 1869 that courthouse to the left there 1869 that's like the oldest we've seen in a long time back when they built that everybody was carrying guns if somebody came around and started shooting everybody would point their guns and start shooting back now everybody runs and hides and throws tomato can cans of tomato paste at somebody shooting gun at them. And Beta O'Dort wants to come after the AR-15. And then he's, it's a shame that he's using the mass shootings like that. Because then he's just going to come after every gun. It's just a matter of time. It's not going to stop till they get it all. The funny thing is, is if they pass a law and come to take the guns, they're going to use guys with guns to come take your guns. It's like, no, no, this is America, Jack. This is freedom. We had an easy solution for the school shootings. Post guards. Nope, they want to take guns away from law-abiding citizens. BS. Anyway, if we turn right, that'll take us up to Battle Mountain. Interstate 80. It's actually a really cool highway. I did a video on that one once. But now... We are westbound to Sacramento. I bet there is some really cool old great, well, I really shouldn't say that cool. That's, that's a fact of life though, but, but there's some pretty old graves in there. So I think I'll call it it for this leg of the trip. Started last night. He is loaded down. He's got a full truck and a full half of fuel. 
Okay. That's it for today. Well, for this leg of the trip. I go too much further. My suicidal insects will take over the movie screen. Which next time I stop, I just clean up the windshield real quick. So thanks again for riding shotgun. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next time, enjoy. Peace. Go get him, A5.